Hello, my crafty goblins and ghouls. I hope you're having a bootastic day. Welcome to day five of our 13 days of Halloween craft series. In today's video, we are going to make the cauldron that goes with the spooky jack-o'-lantern that we made yesterday. I've gathered the materials to make the cauldron. The cauldron is part of the Party on Elm Street collection which can be found at svgcuts.com. This is a menu that you get when you download the file and you can see all of the pieces here that we will be working with. Similar to the jack-o'-lantern, I am going to be using the Happy Haunting My Mind's Eye paper collection. To save time, I've already completed one side of the cauldron. In your file, you will receive two pieces that look like this. You'll receive these pieces which are filler pieces and this piece which is the bottom of the cauldron. To assemble the cauldron what we need to do is glue these tabs and these tabs together and that will form the shape of the cauldron. So let's start gluing these pieces down. I'm going to first glue this bottom piece here, align it right up to the score line and then the top part. I'll move on to the next one. This comes together fairly quickly. Okay, I'm going to hold this for a few seconds and then glue the top part. Once you have the top tabs glued down, we're going to glue these pieces down. And you can see how easily this takes shape and that is the other side of your cauldron. Now what we need to do is to glue in these pieces. These are fillers. So you notice when you look at the cauldron there are spaces where there are little gaps. Before we close the cauldron let's turn this over and then just take these pieces, fold them in half and put glue on them. And then what you want to do is right where you see the spaces, you're going to put them in to cover up the holes. So one's going to go right here and it fits right in the corner. Okay. And then we're going to put another one right here. You're going to need to cut out two sets of these tabs because you have two sides of the cauldron. I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of these tabs and then I'll be right back. I have assembled the second panel and glued in all of the attachments inside. So let's glue this together. So I'm gluing the top part and the bottom part first to make sure that that has a nice strong hold and then I'll go in and glue these center pieces. So let's close this up. Glue the bottom tab here. Okay, so now we can turn this over and we're going to glue this piece onto the bottom. So let's put glue on all of these tabs. We're going to line this up with one of the tabs. Okay, so now we have the bottom on. Let's turn this over and use our bone folder to make sure all of the tabs are attached. Now what we want to do is glue each of these tabs down. This is going to secure the top of the cauldron. So I'm going to put glue on these top tabs here and just fold down on itself. I'm going to go through and make sure that there's a nice strong hold for all these tabs. Okay, so now that we have all of these pieces glued down, let's start gluing down our decorative layers. If you have a pattern paper or paper with text, you want to make sure that you're taking it off the mat in the proper order. Glue it on the top here and then on the bottom. 
and line this here. And there should be a little border around each of the decorative edges. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the rest of these panels and I'll be right back. I have finished the cauldron and I love the way it turned out. The overall size is five inches tall and the width is just a little over five inches. This paper is so much fun. I just love the detail. I finished off the cauldron with this mesh spider bling. Let me give you a close look. It has little tiny spiders and I thought that it was a perfect complement to this paper. Now what we need to do is to begin stacking the cauldron. To do that, I have gathered some floral foam and I'm going to glue this to the bottom. I'm going to stack this up because this is where the jack-o-lantern will be placed. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just put a nice coating of hot glue and this is going to be glued into the bottom of the cauldron just like so then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put more glue on this and that's going to go right on the top and then I want to stick in some floral foam on the sides here I'm going to put some glue here on the side and then attach this piece of floral foam to it and this just gives the moss something to attach to and as I said the jack-o-lantern will be attached right on top and put some more glue here we're going to slide this piece down just like so Next, I'm going to take some Spanish moss and cover the top of the cauldron. I'm going to put some hot glue on the top here so it has something to attach to. And I'm just going to put this on liberally. Just so that it looks like it's bubbling out of the cauldron. And now I have these skeleton hands that I want to attach. They're going to be glued in just like this. These skeleton hands have a nice curve to them. They came in a package like this and they were straight as you can see. And the way that I got the curve on both of these is that I took glass and I took my heating tool and I just rolled it back and forth the glass so that it had a nice curve. You want to make sure that you use like an oven mitt, something to protect your hands because it will get very hot. But once this plastic is heated, it becomes a little softer and malleable so that you can actually curve it into the desired position. So I'm going to glue these hands in. I'll put this one right here. I'm going to glue this one right here. I have attached the moss and my hands. I went through and I cleaned up the moss a little bit so it wasn't so unruly. And my hands are simply attached using hot glue. As you can see, it's very sturdy. Now we're going to add the jack-o-lantern. I've taken off the top of my jack-o-lantern and what we're going to do is glue it right in the center of the hand. You want to make sure that you have it even in between the hands and in the jack-o-lantern. You may need to spread out a little area here just to flatten the moss a little bit so that it will attach and sit straight up. You don't want it sitting crooked. So I'm going to attach some glue here onto the bottom of the jack-o-lantern and we're going to attach that right on the top, right in the center. 
You may want to put a little bit more glue in areas so that you can make sure that it is firmly attached. Okay, and so this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm just going to get some lights. These are low voltage battery operated lights that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and they're orange. I'm going to stick these inside the jack-o-lantern and then stick the hat on. And this is our completed spooky jack-o-lantern and cauldron. I'm going to turn off the light so that you can get a better view of how this looks. This concludes my review of my spooky jack-o-lantern and cauldron. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please be sure to leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to visit Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking and Michelle Shabby Chic for more spooky creative crafts and join us tomorrow for another day of the 13 days of Halloween craft series. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy crafting.